that. I like, I like that. Yeah, um, I was great. I lost my 142 day streak on Wordle. And then I was like, ah, oh, dang. You were the only one that was. And it was an easy up. word, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, of all the stuff you missed, I was like, dang, because you've gotten way harder words and less moves. Than... It's funny how that works, though, you know? Yeah, I mean. I think just sometimes depends, as well. It just depends on what you get to start with. Because if you get those, the most common ones like we seem to get, they end up being in that area to where there's like 10 words you can make with it. No! I was right spot. by the safe spot. You get. <laughs> oh. You just got done. Man, these snipes are annoying. I mean, this isn't even a boss. Can't get it. Now with that attitude, you can't. <laughs> Dang. You need, you need to get kick that sniper's ass. Like pull uh, him off of, pull him off of there. Yeah, we could just drop down on him. I love how he knows where you are, no matter what. Freaking thermal thermal goggles. Oh it's it's classic. Classic AI, isn't it? Here we go, we It's a no point to be up here. Oh, it's disappointing. It's. No, it's, there's a point. We just don't know what it is. Just, just a To be fair, I, I think I missed it. Um, I didn't go up the ladder when I went to the other side before, so probably missed whatever's up there. Man, that makes things a lot easier with that. kept seeing it ever and ever again but never really thought about it but like where you last died if you get back there you can get your coins back right? yeah well I, I don't know if you get all your coins back but well, you, get a, you get a chunk of them anyway yeah so that's like your ghost uh with with your coins so yeah you lose so many but then if you get back there you can get them back okay that's uh, funny. I, I I kept I noticed it over and over again. I just never never even put a single thought into it. Now I realize that oh, that's what that is. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a little slow. On the street. Monastery. No, the monastery. Yeah, that's what I said, the monastery. They've really got something against, like, the like, energy source here.
Ouch. All right, so I just I just want to take a moment here before we get um, killed. Um, I'm almost convinced now there is an ability which will let you either jump or sort of like climb things. Because surely you're going to be able to access this safe spot some way, some form, because it, I don't know, it just seems too much of a troll to put it in here and not be able to use it. Secondly, in like the main overworld, there's a piece of the manual as well that's kind of just marooned on a little platform surrounded by water. Well, you get the swimming ability, but then you still got that broken up bridge that you can't jump across and there's nothing to latch onto to pull yourself across. So there's got to be some kind of flight or or jump ability, I think, as well. So I guess we'll see. Everybody hold on to your chairs. Man, your health bar is back down to like yeah. a Yeah, look at that health bar, baby. Ah, uh, your health bar took some Viagra. <laughs> Gotta be so careful around this whole area. Should be throwing your bombs anywhere, mate. This way a minute because I want to check this other way that I didn't go before. See if I missed anything. Yikes. Yeah. You and the rest of Europe, Mika. Yeah, here I, I switched my... Both my gas and electric over to average. So you pay... Just pay with even though right now, like my electric bill or my gas bill is like 30 some dollars, and like January, February, it could be 350 dollars, and that's a huge hit. Same thing with electric, it would get up into the upper 200 sometimes, uh, and that's trying to conserve. I have I have a nest pretty much that so. yeah and I, and I have it to where it's it stays on like if I if I leave with my phone it knows my phone not so, or it thinks I'm not here and it'll go on eco mode for the uh, yeah it'll, it'll still get up into the mid to upper 200 so instead I pay about uh, 104 a month for gas. About 85 to 90 a month on electric. 
so they kind of vary it each month. Uh, or can vary. Yeah. Every, every few months. Depending on how the weather's gone. Because they, they stay with the average of the last 12 months. Uh, but still, it's a lot, easier, a lot easier to pay. Pretty much know what you're going to pay every month all year round. It might it might go up or down five bucks, but it's not going to go from you know thirty eight to ninety to one hundred and ninety you know, ever. Yeah, we see. We that's what they kind of do here. They just like they average what your your, your yearly spend is, and then divide it by twelve, and that's what you pay a month. Um, but at the same time, they always like they want you to be in like a stupid amount of credit on your account as well. So they normally don't get you overpaying what you um, what you actually need to. So, well, you have to have credit on your account. Yeah, but we're talking like last time I spoke to my energy supplier, they wanted me to have like between two and three hundred pound in credit. Why? As well as paying two hundred pound a month. That's insane. Because they what the, what they want what they like people to do here is you over because you are and obviously it makes sense you overpay in the summer. And then your overpayments in the summer cover your uh, underpayments in the winter, because typically you use more energy because you use using gas and things more in the winter for heating and stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean that's just what I was talking about. They just average out the last twelve months. Yeah, but so, they do. Yeah, it, they do it across the year. Be higher, like you know, I'm paying a hundred instead of forty, and, but at the worst times I'm paying. 100 instead of two punt two to 300 so yeah i mean i get that but i don't get the having to have two or three hundred pound credit well like i said the last time i spoke to them about like what they were what they wanted me to pay a month they said the only way that they, the only way they could re reduce it for me was if i had at least 200 pound credit on my account and then the least they could reduce it to was 200 pounds. So. That's, yeah, that's ridiculous. They're, they're playing, man, I thought we were bad every year. They're, they're playing worse games than companies over here do on that. Man, they're killing you all. Of course, electrical grid, I mean, you know, the size of Great Britain. Uh, compared to the United States is quite a big difference. So I guess I guess that's kind of part of the reason. But still, I mean, yeah, it's, it sounds like they're running a monopoly and completely taking advantage of it because there's no point in having any credit none i mean especially if your payments averaged out so you're paying you know, more during the during the colder months and i mean or during the winter months or summer months and yeah less during the quarter months but uh, i don't know Price two hundred. If you're averaging two hundred, I mean no, that's I, that, I that's what cost, that's what cost me for gas and and electric. And then I think uh, from what I know about British houses, is that they're really not that big. Like on average, they're just typically smaller homes than over here. So, I think I probably, I got like, I don't know which square footage is that you're actually hitting or, well, cooling if you have that AC, but uh, it's like basically about 2,700 square feet. 
here, two floors, so the upper floor gets hotter, and that's where the thermostat is, so it'll run even if it's comfortable downstairs. That's why I always have a, a, one of my monitors has a web page to change my temperature. So, yeah. it doesn't run, so it doesn't run and I even bought a fan so that if it starts feeling warm I don't need to run the AC just to cool the whole house off uh, just for where I am at that moment so I just turn the fan on and all is good Are they still doing that? Didn't you say a while ago, I mean, that they were doing um, in Finland? I, I don't know. I, I'm sure it was you that said it. They were doing like something where they were making the electricity ridiculously expensive between certain hours of the day to try and curb people's usage. Well, I don't know, but here they. It was an opt in thing years ago where they added this device on the side of your house uh, that tapped into your meter. Okay. And, and, and your AC, and it would, it would shut down the AC during peak periods. It, it might be for an hour, it might be for three hours, but you had to opt into it. Now it's, it's automatic. Everything is computer controlled, 100%. They don't even have, they don't have to read your meter anymore, which has been a thing for a lot of places, and especially close to the city for a long time. But yeah, they we to, they haven't had to do that. And the only people that were reading meters were the water people. You had to actually open up the, the top and look down on the ground and you know, get a reading. Gat, uh, gas and electric uh, they they just had to drive around uh, with their device and they would pick up uh, radio signal with the meter readings were but yeah now they don't even they don't even need to go out to your house so, yeah. and they're and they're shutting down your uh, AC units or whatever they want uh, and you don't opt in you're automatically in it but so far I haven't had any trouble yet and we're starting to get into the cooler months so more gas to be used than electric so we get to where that there's there's nice spring and fall moments of the year where you have quite a bit of time where you don't use heat or AC. It just stays the nice temperature, and you can just use the fan to circulate air. Yeah, and they've they've discussed that as an op a potential option here. To be a fair, Mika. Uh, like rolling power cuts or restricting uses of certain appliances between certain times. Um, I was reading um, a few weeks back that there was worries that because I think we we import some electricity from um, Sweden. I think it's one of the, one of the Scandinavian country countries. Um, but because we've had such a dry summer, they were the, the, their electricity source is hydropower, and they're worried that they're not going to be able to export to other countries because of the lack of water in the reservoirs and the lakes to actually generate the electricity. So that's also not the best sign because that'll probably elevate and escalate prices some more if that's still a thing. But hey, don't don't don't, don't worry about it. Down. Don't worry about it. You know. It's, uh, Boris, it Boris officially went to see the Queen today. 
and he handed in his notice with the Queen and Liz Liz has been up to see the other old Liz today and she's uh, now our new person in charge so you know what's yeah, the worst Queen that can happen oh, that I really hope this does what I think it does well it's a termite I really hope this does what I think it does. If I'm right from what I've seen in the manual, scavenger's mask, I think this will make me immune to the, uh, like, the thing that's rinsing my health. At least I hope that's what will happen. Alright, well. I don't think there's many more of these that we actually haven't been to. We've been pretty much all the way around the map now on these things. I still don't really know if we can actually... Uh, hold on. Hold on. Did I try this? I tried that before. Yeah, still don't understand the full idea behind that. Your guess is as good as mine. No, it's not. It's better. My guess yeah. is better than yours. Through that, through that. Because it's it's always better if the other person did even have a guess, which I didn't. So it got me. I'm I am shamed. I shall retreat to my corner and fall into the fetal position. And just drop a tear or two. <laughs> Pick those fox asses. Yeah, that's right. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, chopped them trees down. Hey. Tesco's motto is every little helps, mate. Even if it's just one little coin, every little helps. Especially when old matey's charging like a thousand. Thousand freaking bank for the next freaking potion. Jeez. Yeah, money is definitely important. That's why they keep giving it to you little by little for you to fight. And say they, they give they give me across. money. I don't I don't believe they give me money. I'd give them lots of money. You ever see the little trees or bushes or whatever you want to call them? Uh, they never give you anything. See, again, that's what I love about this game, right? This little shortcut's here all the time, but until you use it, you don't know it's there. I really like that, like, some of the, the ways that they. But like the shortcuts they open, the way they work, I really like them. Yeah. I know you, you, you're not so keen sometimes on like the hidden stuff, but. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a, a pretty, pretty cool way to do it, because at some point you're going to discover one, you would think. Uh, just from running around like, hey, wait a minute, why did, why did I slide into that stone wall? Like, oh, it's actually in a cave going through there. Come out, I don't have to go all this way. And then, then he, that, that would make you start thinking that, of course, there has to be more of those. Those are shortcuts. 
But yeah, uh, I probably it probably would have taken me way longer to get to that point than you did. Especially the physics physics correct uh, bridge thing. You have a golden fox. I'm half tempted though, now that I've got this scavenger mask and we've got some shortcuts just to kill myself, just to get all my health back and then <coughs> come, come back here. Yeah. Because, yeah, because if you save now, you save what you have as well, right? Yeah, if, if, if I save, it'll regen everything. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm all out, I'm all out of potions and everything, so. But if, but if you kill yourself, you get all your potions. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was wondering. I thought, the way it seemed to me, of course, I wasn't paying that close attention. Was that like, when you saved, yeah, your health and magic and all that go back up. And you just always had your, uh patience. Now you got three more. Uh, well, then they're, they're not potions as such. Yeah, yeah blueberries. That are not very tasty. Well, that's an ouch. Yeah, I've got no projectile magic left, so... Hey, well, you did what you said you were going to do, and that's die. That's a bad defense. <laughs> While we're here, it'd be rude not to. So I now I should be able to, like, traverse this whole area now without getting armed by this frickin' stuff. Yeah, I like you can grab them and just drop them off. Yeah. Have fun at school, little kid. Yeah, now you don't have to worry about the thing sucking your health. Yeah, I thought for sure that would do something. Well, I have to play these games and stuff like that. If I think it should happen, then don't bother because I'll be wrong. <laughs> I'm just going to head back a little a minute because I wanted to check whether or not there was actually another way to go here or not. To save my magic. Look at Miko with this four out of six. One yellow, all green after that. Wordle. Oh! That O oh was the sound of an epiphany. Again, another little sneaky shortcut path. We've already been all the way to the mountain doors, but not via this way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Only the smartest can open it. Oh, we're screwed. Oh, jeez. 
Well, I have to rely on uh, Montura then. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, Mika. Now that one pretty quick with the uh, yellow, but then bam, two green, and then no problem. Looks like whatever you guessed on your second word was a huge help. I don't like the sort of place they would hide a sneaky secret, but I guess not. Yeah, he goes. Yeah, that's quite impressive. How quickly uh, pop that game together and even put in the color changes that you can still do yellow and green if you want it. Which I did switch to and then I switched back. Look at, yeah. I was the same as you though, like the first time I played it, I was like, I kind of just like, oh, yeah, yeah, I've played, I played Wordle before, I'll just flick through the instructions, I was like, actually, what does blue mean and what does orange mean? <laughs> yeah, see, see for me, uh, blue is the first portal. I, I always fire blue first, you know, 99.99% of the time, unless it's by accident, unless I'm the only time I uh, cautiously fire orange first is if I'm placing a secondary portal to go to a primary location, fire my blue. So like my primary location would be either like, of course, you know, like a light bridge source, funnel source, or whatever. I always fire my blue as primary, orange as secondary. So that's why it threw me off and I switched to yellow and green because uh, it's orange first. Orange is the one that's in the correct place and the right letter. And blue is the yellow. So, yeah, but then I, I switched back to because I made it make sense in my head. Yeah, I was just thinking maybe that's um, going to help us for the boss. Jeez. Well, that's a hell of a spread for that shotgun. Yeah. I mean, that's... you got to have one of those trumpet-shaped openings on the front. <laughs> you mean a musket? <laughs> I was thinking more cartoonish, but yeah, like a cartoonish musket. Because uh, not all muskets had a shape at the end. Hey! Free potion bowl. Nice. Dang, hell. See, look, that other guy's charging a thousand coinage for that. I got that one for free. What a ripoff. <laughs> that guy's a phony. Yeah, making knock does that too. <laughs> Even though he tries not to. Yeah, I mean, I. I, I, yeah, I just really bad at portal placement. I do try to kind of, a bit like you, I kind of like use blue as a, blue as an input, um, orange as an output. Yeah, exactly. But I really, but yeah. quite, I really kind of got like into doing that from like LB, LB, I think LB mentioned it to me once. It was like, oh, you should really do this. And I was like, huh. Yeah, I, I remember that, uh, cause yeah, I was like, that's yeah, exactly what I've always done. When I even when I first started playing uh, Portal One, 
I immediately gravitated to blue primary, orange secondary. And it's just ingrained now, I don't have to think about it. Like in certain particular maps where you have to really pay attention to actually remember what you, the, your last portal placement was. Uh, even though the nice thing about Portal 2 is that you can see your portal color through the walls. That was a huge game changer. Uh, so if you just had a brain, brain cramp and couldn't, you can't remember, you can just look around and go, oh, okay, it's, I put an orange over here, I put a blue over here then, okay. Yeah, yeah but the thing I, is, it's like the, the game even gives you though the whole oh this is the last portal that you use and i never even used to take notice of that yeah i gave her the blue portal first yeah no but like from the, like the light on top of the portal gun uh, yeah yeah and even portal one had that system on the they had it on the reticle didn't they on the, the crosshairs yeah uh which which portal you had fired and which one yeah. wasn't but you couldn't see through the walls to see where, if you had placed both portals, you went to another room. You're like, okay, which room did I place the orange one in and which one the blue one? So, yeah. Excuse me. But there, the one thing that also changed on the reticle was portal one, uh, it lit up when you were pointed at a yeah that's a it surface that's... that was portable portal 2 doesn't, it doesn't show you if it's portable or not I guess they just expected you to uh, have played portal 1 and just know but in some of the styles some of the some of those uh, panels look like they could be portable Portable, bull. but they're not. That make I've never really thought about it. Uh, it's the way I've done it. I, I, I guess uh, subconsciously I kind of think of like Knox Nox said blue is input orange is output even though they're both 100% the same uh, you know both are inputs both are outputs so I mean but you try to it's like just I just have a habit ever since we're the one of putting like if I if I had a, a, hep, a high energy pellet, uh, I'm transferring it. I would always fire the blue where where the source, the emitter was, and then orange, and then after that, of course, uh, like that one map in the campaign where you have to get through both fizzlers and fire two portals to redirect it each time to go up the little one block elevator uh yeah how long did that take him mr fab inside the ziggurat that's a ziggurat Fine eyes, layers of cognition. I've never heard of that. Yeah, you was there on the stream, man. 